Oh, you wrote a little app for uh, doing this gallon filter in the auto steer board. So we'll just fire it up here. Now, defaults are the values that are on the in the INO. And what we have here is the XE roll. That's what goes back to Ag Open GPS. And roll K is what's actually measured at the um, at the sensor or the 8451. And then these are the individual variables. And you can see that they're counting up, counting down. If we change either the process, then they're renewed. And yeah, they're all three the same, but they don't all rely on each other, or they rely on each other to not be the same because you can set these independently externally if you want to do different things with the Kalman filter. This is an extremely simple version of the Kalman filter. So all it does is use just this ver roll and ver process. Now as we change these guys, okay, this is our roll. See, I can see it's really, 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 really slow. We speed that up. You see, now it's much faster. So it's not that none of them change, it's how they change and when they change and what's created initially with the initial uh, covariances of the noise and the gain. So I don't understand Kalman filters. I don't, it, they're so complicated and I don't ever claim to know that they do work, but this does work well. So basically, when you're doing your settings, I set it to point zero zero. Okay, where did I put it? I put it to point zero 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 one in the INO so that it doesn't cause problems. So that it takes a while for the try for the the filtered angle to get back to where it should be. Because if it goes too fast, like if we put these both at point one. then if the tractor wiggles back and forth, it can basically cause such an erratic cross measurement that it, it is far worse than having any sort of uh, roll angle at all. So there's a real fine balance between, you know, reading that number and having it get too fast and it being too slow. I mean, I picked the point zero one because I just kind of timed going through on the side of a hill, as you drive along, it doesn't compensate for dropping in a hole. It just, I could never figure out how to do that. What this does compensate is you're going from one side hill to the next side hill. That takes a few seconds. So here we're on one side of the hill, and we go to the other side of the hill. It takes a few seconds, but you don't want to jump that GPS position immediately from minus four degrees to positive four degrees, because that'll just cause way more problems. So by adjusting it to point zero zero one. You know, you can make these guys faster and slower. Now it'll just be instant. And again, that's the different coefficient variables, and you can see that they're not the same thing. So uh, I'll, I'll try to put this on on the website this little application and you can play around with it and you can see what it does so uh, i know it's a terrible job explaining but common filters are a whole other world of hurt and um, this is still better than just doing it with a complementary filter because if you set it right it does work really really well and there's no phase there's no delay that sort of thing so but when as soon as you filter of course there's going to be a delay but this does work really well